It's summertime and it's time for another In the Kitchen with Fred. Today we're making one of my favorites, iced tea. This is a one gallon pitcher and I like to fill this thing up with a concoction of iced tea and lemonade. And this is basically what I drink all summer long. When I'm in the shop and it's hot, I come in, have a glass of iced tea, can get back to work. Um, what I'm doing right now is I have about two quarts of water sitting here on the stove that is getting ready to boil. And then on my cutting board, I have a bunch of different types of tea bags. I have black tea, white tea, and green tea with mint in it. The white tea has pomegranate and hibiscus. I don't know if the white tea has caffeine in it. I'm sure the black tea, which is like an English breakfast style, um, I'm sure that has caffeine in it. I'm pretty sure the mint green tea also has caffeine in it. I try not to overdo it, but sometimes in the afternoon, it's getting hot, you're getting tired, you got a lot of work left to do, you're gonna need a little pick-me-up. Um, not to say that I won't go get a coffee every now and then, but I also like a nice refreshing iced tea. The next thing I put in it is mint. My grandmother used to make my grandfather tea, iced tea, and he would always have mint in the iced tea. He would usually just pick it right in his garden or right in his front yard. I'm not so lucky here in California where I live. The front yard is just a dirt lot and I don't get much or any mint, so I have to go buy it. So what I do is I just pick off a whole bunch of leaves of the mint. Um, I have all these six tea bags sitting here and I'm going to sit and wait on the water to boil. Watch pot never boils, so I'm going to go find something else to do and I'll be back. Water is boiling, so what I like to do is I grab these tea bags, throw them in there, grab the mint leaves, throw them in there, shut the water off. You do not want it boiling while the tea bags are in there. Just let it all steep now. Um, and then I usually put the lid back on it. And then I'll set my timer up here for, I think eight minutes is plenty. It's maybe a little bit long, but that'll let it steep really strong. Um, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, while the tea bags are steeping, I like to grab some honey and put it down in the bottom of the pitcher. Um, how much honey? That's a funny noise. I don't know about that much. You don't want to make it so sweet that you can't handle it when you're drinking it, but you want to have a little bit of sweetness in there to take the edge off of the tea bags in case you let them steep too long. Um, another thing I get is I get a lemon and I slice it up and then this will go right in the pitcher and then we'll dump that hot tea right on top of all of this. You might be worried about the seeds in your lemon getting into your pitcher. Don't worry about it. Most of these types of pitchers have an opening like this that has a little grate on it to keep the seeds from going into your drink. Or you can turn it this side if you like drinking the seeds. The tea is ready. Here is the gallon jug. Now the fun part. We need to dump this into this and try not to get all of the tea bags in there and try not to spill this. I've noticed that if you have the, the pot over so that even if the tea runs down the bottom or the front of the pot, it still goes into the pitcher. This is very hot, um, but you want it warm enough because it's going to mix in with all that honey and lemon. And then once it kind of gets to about here, you can tip it over. There we go. 
So this still has the tea bags in it and some of the mint leaves that you'll get probably just throw all that away. And now this pitcher is really hot. Um, this is a good time to reach in there with a wooden spoon, mix it up, make sure all that honey on the bottom gets mixed up inside there. So this is coming out to just over two quarts of just tea. I'll probably throw another bottle of water in here. Um, the water, I don't always use bottled water, but the water at my house shop is not really the best to drink. Um, so now I have tea, lemon, mint, one more addition. I like to buy a big jug of lemonade. Dump that in there. Until it's almost full. And now all of that can mix. Put the lid on it, put it in the fridge. Tomorrow we'll have iced tea. That's it for In the Kitchen with Fred. I'm trying not to spill this. Bye.